What do Charles Dickens and Stephanie Meyer have in common? I knew that would get your attention. Stay tuned. I've got to hand it to Dickens. The guy managed to write a story that appealed to the masses and became one of the great works of literature. That's like people reading Stephanie Meyer's Twilight series in English classrooms 200 years from now. Symbols and motifs in vampire fiction, anyone? Anyone? Okay, and so while you might not relate to Estella and Pip as much as you do to Bella and Edward, there's a reason people still read Great Expectations today. No, it's not just to torment you. Seriously, isn't Great Expectations all about desire? About the things we can't have? Pip wants Estella, but he can't have her. Pip wants to be a gentleman, but even when his money shows up, he still can't really be one. Especially not when he finds out that the money comes from a criminal. So how does Pip deal? He discovers what it means to have character, to find happiness inside himself. And don't forget that his romance with Estella turns out well in the end, too. Maybe that's the thing that really makes Great Expectations endure. Everyone loves a happy ending.